Welcome to Act of Faith Designs. This is Faith. Two things I realized when I went to the booth to put more stuff in it this week. This piece I was looking at to reduce the price and realized that where the price tag was, I could see a crack. Because when I washed it, apparently it softened up that area and it became visible and you totally couldn't even see it before. So... I brought it home. I'm going to repair it with the E6000 and stick the head back on. And I'll probably just go ahead and keep that. And then I was looking at this piece and I pulled out the top drawer because, I mean, that's what you do when you're looking at jewelry boxes, right? Look, the back is totally gone. I painted this piece and never pulled it all the way out and realized, oh my goodness, look what I missed. So I brought that home to repair it so that I can stick that back in the booth and I'll probably reduce the, the price of it due to that reason. All right, so let me get stuff gathered up and I'll be back. All right, so I found this piece of wood. I am putting that piece, laying it right on the inside and then over here, I will turn that over, and I'm going to draw right onto the wood right there, and then right down that way. So now I have the markings right there and there. So if I get this all cut out, that should fit perfectly into the jewelry box. So I am going to go get something to cut with, some kind of knife or something. All right, so I have my piece, and I have my sandpaper. This is 220. So I'm just going to sand because we don't want anyone to get any splinters, especially if a child owns this and that's owning this jewelry box. We want that to be splinter free. So if you do go to one of the big chains, and you see little pieces of wood like this out in the parking lot anywhere. Just a little piece of scrap. Pick it up. I mean, having stuff like this really comes in handy. Anytime you can get any kind of furniture pieces, legs, anything, pick it up. It's, you know, it's going to save you a lot of money in the end for any kind of projects that you may have in the future. You don't want to put a lot of money for resale into a piece when you're trying to keep the price down to you and to the consumer. Nobody wants to pay $600 for a jewelry box because you had to put on all these special features and spend, you know, $40 and $50 for a bunch of different transfers and special knobs, you know, that cost $25 a piece. No. You want to keep the price down as much as possible so that they can afford it and you can make a little bit of money. Even a little bit of something will add up eventually. So you're going to take this story box and sell it for $18. Even if you have 10 in it, you're still earning $8. But my suggestion is you try to make at least 100% on your pieces. So if you do buy it for 10 you should probably think about selling it. Or if I mean, if you have $10 in it, you should probably think about selling it for 20 Anyway, we've got that. So now we are going to get this glued on. Let's see how well it fits in there. You know it's going to fit there, and it fits in there. So yay, it fits in there really well. Look at that, perfect. So I thought what I would just go ahead and do is glue this into place. But I can also, I could probably put some staples in it in a few places as well because I do have a stapler gun. So let's just go ahead and glue it first. And we are going to get out this amazing stuff, E6000. I'm thinking I like it. So let's see how well it works. Just get, just trying to get it there into the edges. And then, of course, I'm going to have to wipe off the access. All right, so I'm going to take that 
and we're going to stick that right in there. And we are going to press this together to get the good solid. And this would be one of those projects where you really need to have a vice grip where you can lock that in place while the glue dries. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the staple gun. So let's see how thin, you know that's awful thin. I think maybe I'll just leave the glue there for now. But let's get all the access wiped off so it doesn't look so messy. And it just comes right off. Look at that. That is looking good. The inside looks really good. Yeah, things are looking really good. So that is a perfect fit. All right, so we'll just let that dry and I'll go in here and I will paint that pink. Paint the back of it pink and we'll replace it and we'll stick it back into the booth. I am just learning and you will be able to learn right along with me because I am not experienced at at any of this stuff so this is probably a good channel for you to watch if you are not an expert at anything and we can learn together so you guys have a good day and thanks for watching Act of Faith Designs don't forget subscribe <laughs> and follow you guys have a good day hey I have the box repaired the jewelry box and there's the back of it and I painted it pink and you can't really even hardly tell at all that there was any repair. See, right there I think you might be able to tell, but you stick that back in there. And there you go. Jewelry box is all fixed. And then, of course, here's this piece. You really can't see too much, but it looks a lot. You can see kind of little cracks, so I will at some point end up repainting that. But that head is not... It's not moving at all, and it hasn't only been like six hours. So, and it does say on the back of the E6000, says that it needs to cure for 24 hours and completely cures in 72 hours. So I'm not going to touch this, paint it or anything like that until um, at least next weekend. That's it. You can get this. I've seen the C6000. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Well, my granddaughters had me doing some crafts with them today. They decided they wanted to make their jewelry boxes. And Grandma decided since they were going to be doing their jewelry boxes, I might as well go ahead and make something at the same time. So, I went ahead and I decoupaged, I painted, I sanded all the way around and I did some decoupaging and I think the mirror came out really nice. Let's get it off the paper and see if you can see it better. There we go. Just a very soft floral. And that's the back side of the paper. The girls used the front side of the paper for their Valentine Day boxes for school. This one is Ariel's. Isn't it cute with the little the little eyes and little jewels. That one came out so cute. And then the other one, I gave her this box and we didn't have a top, so she decided to use a doily as a top and split that up. And here's the side of her Valentine's Day box. So this paper that is on this is the back side and that's the front side. So look at the difference. You can use the paper. Look at the difference it really makes. Anyway, those were our projects for today, and Haley and I are going to probably work on some for this evening. Thanks for watching.